Hey, Ferret fam. Do the whole thing. No, you do the welcome back to the channel. Okay, just do it again. Ready? Gonna, do you want to do the countdown? No, do it again. Hey, Ferret fam. Welcome back to the channel. That off. One more. Be just be ready to say it. Don't okay. be looking at me. Okay. Ready? We're both looking at the camera. Okay. Hey, Ferret fam. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be looking at some cage setups, and I have a special guest here. Me? Mm -hmm. I'm special? Say your name. I'm Brian. This is Brian, and he is a really tough judge, so he's going to be judging all of your submissions, and we are going to be brutally honest. Right, Brian? Yes. Brutally honest. Brutal. So what I am personally looking for, I don't know what Brian's looking for, but I personally am looking for a lot of free roam, no water bottles, enough blankets and beds, uh, no plastic bowls. What about you? What are you looking so for? So glad you asked. I want pizzazz. I want fire. So you're looking for the I want aesthetics. beauty. Okay. And they also have to have enough fire room time okay so free room and aesthetics is what you're looking for all right so let's look at the first one we have courtney's setup and courtney has four ferrets and a double ferret nation um they do eight hours minimum they work from home so top half first what i would suggest is to put ramp covers on the ramps help them um, go up and down and i would swap out it looks like some of the bowls are plastic so i would swap that for like the other ones the stainless steel you know what i see in this cage what space space i see the nebulous void Mm -hmm. You see in the theme here? Look at this hammock. Oh, okay. You see in this hammock? Mm -hmm. Look at the bed. Galaxy Stars, print. galaxies, we got planets. You like that aesthetic. Beautiful. I think she needs to double down on the galaxy theme we're seeing here. I think the blue could be replaced with a nice, nice dark sky. Maybe some rocket ships. <laughs> okay. And what about down here? I really love the size of the litter box. That is litter definitely box. Um, the size that you want to aim for. I'm seeing some lazy, lazy boys down there. Yeah. The girls. Are... More free room, definitely, if you can. That's going to be my suggestion for everyone. And a sheet to cover the cage. Just make sure it's lightweight and breathable. We gave this setup an A. An A. Nice job, Courtney. Awesome work really nice cage to start off with. Next we have Taylor's setup. Um, Taylor hey, has four ferrets and a double critter nation. She does 20 to 22 hours of free roam. And this is like picks over time. So when she first got the cage or when she first got the ferrets, this is what her setup looked like. She has a lot of bird toys just a lot of toys in general. A little crowded. Wouldn't a little keep... crowded. And she had it like this, so she definitely um, learned from the first setup. Clean. Then another one. Crispy. And then what it looks like now, which I really like the triple hammock thing that she's got going oh, on up there. I really like that. I mean, everything looks good. She's got the ramps covered up. She's got a large litter box. The bowls are stainless steel. She doesn't have toys in here anymore. So I've you're seeing saying, a lot of blue in this. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a that theme. That has nothing to do with anything. I'm seeing a theme here. All Great. I'd recommend is if you're gonna go plaid, some fall colors going on in here. <laughs> Okay, Plan? so your suggestion is to get a fall setup going on. Fall setup. Okay. Look into it. A plus. A plus. Nice a job, plus. Taylor. Killed it. I think everyone can learn from this setup. I like the evolution. I like how you learned. I love to see it. Maddie has two ferrets in a double ferret nation. She does seven plus hours. So definitely first thing is always can do a little bit more free roam time. You can get liners. I noticed that you just have a blanket. I mean, liners in my opinion are not necessary, but I like the bowls that you have. They look like stainless steel. You've got a decent sized litter pan. You've got a nice bed and a hammock. I like how you did the hammock under the half platform. That's pretty cool. Bottom, we got pee pad, good sized litter box, bed, hammock so i would suggest you could probably add more hammocks like bigger hammocks in this area i would move this bed behind the ramp i think that's kind of just in their way of going up and down also get a sheet for the cage too if you keep the lights on in this room after dark thing looks good it's a very safe cage there's no it's a little dangers. simple for me a little simple you don't like the patterns 
Mm. But other than that, the setup is great, and we gave it an this A. This is an A. So nice job, Maddie. You impressed us. Killed it. Love it. We have Faith's cage, and Faith has four ferrets in a double ferret nation. Will be a triple ferret nation Ooh. coming soon. Well, so see the update. let's look at this. So the first thing that I noticed is the really high up half platforms. A little too high. So yeah, you can you can get away with doing this if you have young ferrets and if you cover the ramps. That's really important that you cover those ramps and putting like a bed or a pillow at the bottom just in case, you know, they slip. They have that to catch their fall because it is quite quite high up you know that's very doable so i suggest that you do that i would remove this purple tube that they need to go up and down just because it looks like a hassle kind of looks like the end here goes over the platform so i don't know how they've been this is like a ferret extreme course <laughs> yeah you don't want to make it you know difficult for your ferrets to navigate through their living space yeah you could save it for their play area for sure you could use the tube i love the amount of bowls that you have litter pan is a great size you could probably put a bed at the top of that platform or more hammocks or if your ferrets don't go potty in this corner area you could put like just the only picture they gave the yeah only... You could put like a cat cube here. I really like cat cubes. And then of course, get a sheet for the cage. I think you're missing a theme here. A theme? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in the end, the theme doesn't really matter to the ferrets. No, the, the theme is it's mainly for me. Okay, it's all right, as long as you understand that. It's completely and totally for my own. Okay. Give it a B plus. B plus? Yeah. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. Next, you're going to like this one. <laughs> Next, we have Samantha's. And Samantha does mostly free roam with a double ferret nation. Looks great. Of course, um, I'm going to suggest taking out the corner pan and swapping it for a cat size box. Though there are ferrets, obviously, that do prefer the corner pan. So if your ferrets do really enjoy that, you know, keep it. That's totally fine. It doesn't harm the ferrets in any way. What do you think? I love the really big hammock at the top that's really mm -hmm. cool and you really like the halloween i'm loving it aesthetic I'm loving everything love Every the moment of this. look at that ramp at the bottom there <laughs> the are you kidding me i'd kill to have that this is an a plus killed it samantha so for zoe's setup zoe has two ferrets free roam all day which is Ooh. great in a double critter nation so i think that there's a lot of potential here I definitely suggest adding a ramp from this bottom area to this platform because yeah, how are they getting up I have there? no idea how they're getting up and down from there. I love this hammock though. It's really cozy and the cat cube. You could probably put this cube down here and then put a bed up here or vice versa. I like that this is all a nice plush blanket. These look like plastic, so swap them for something safer like uh, stainless steel or glass. Glass is your best option. Cover the ramps with um, yeah, liners. Saying, this bottom half is not as cozy as the top Yeah, the half. bottom half is a little bit empty, but you know, they mostly free roam all day, so. Yeah, it's not like they're staying in there yeah. for long. It's not too important. I would like a zoom on this guy here. Zoom? Yeah, can we get a zoom on him? Look at that. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Look at that guy, he's. <laughs> Comfy. Yeah, I would put like some beds, some cubes or whatever in this area because it is pretty empty. We did give it a B plus just because there are so many things um, that you can add to make it even better. Yeah, it's almost an A. It's, pr it's pretty close to an A. There's like so, a mood lighting going on here. Viviana is getting a ferret. Doesn't have one yet. This is a feisty ferret cage. They did say that they plan on not free roaming a lot until the ferret is potty trained, which I don't really like that method of litter training personally. I think that you can absolutely litter train your ferret while still giving them the free roam that they need because they still do need free roam regardless of if you're trying to train them. Yeah, I feel like it's not that hard to just, you know, as long as you're consistent yeah. and if you keep them to like a bedroom 
for the first couple weeks. Just put a pee pad or litter box in every corner that they can access to and there's your potty training. It's very rarely is a ferret 100% potty trained, especially if you're giving them the free roam time that they deserve and that they need. So yeah, go in with not like the highest expectations when it comes to litter training, but yeah, definitely good luck with that. I would say take out your dry food if you don't have a ferret yet because it's going to spoil. Is that plastic? It does look like a plastic bowl, so I would suggest swapping it to a safer material. Yeah. There is a couple things that you could do in this cage. I do see a corner litter box down here, so swap that for a cat size one. You can still use the corner box maybe in your room. I also suggest getting more than one ferret. It is pretty crucial. They are very social animals. And yeah, the top area looks very, very cozy. The cage itself is very cozy. Very yeah. cozy looking cage. Yeah. You could probably do something about the this half platform. Probably you could do more hammocks. You've got one down here. It does look a little bit small. I don't know if it's just me, but this platform looks a little dirty. I don't know. I don't Maybe know it's a used, used cage or something like that. But mm. yeah, mm. I would just like make sure you get that all nice and cleaned up for them. But yeah, it looks great. So we gave this setup a B. For those reasons in particular, this yes. is a B. Yes, but really nice job. There is a bunch of room for improvement and you don't have ferrets yet, so you still have yeah, time, time to, to get make the it a better. Plus plus. We have Justice's setup, which I really did like. So we've got four ferrets <laughs> in this setup. <laughs> Double Ferret Nation, 24-7 free roam. I'm looking at the ferret that is going super fast. <laughs> he is speeding. I love the cage. hammocks. They're so cute. Really nice. I love that you did a lower platform to make it like even more cozier down here yeah, and it looks shade. like there's like a little house back Ooh. there i didn't even notice that so it's a really nice and easy access with the low ramp this cage reminds me of kirby yeah it does i like kirby. i think that you could probably get away with taking out this corner pan since you already have a pee pad here so it just opens up the space a little bit more and you have a litter pan there but it looks like they do use this corner a lot, so maybe that's just... Yeah, that's an emergency so, corner Yeah, right maybe that's something that just works really well for you. I know it works. But yeah, it looks great. I would just get a sheet to cover the cage. It I gave it an good. A+. Plus. I think you did a really, really good job. There's a lot of thought that went into this cage. And even though you're doing 24-7 free roam, your cage is still really nice, which is something that I like to see. Marvelous. Marvelous. Very nice job. I do have to mention that they are working on a brand new setup that Ooh. looks really nice so far. But for now, Ooh. they are using this setup, which I'm going to be honest, is not mm -mm. appropriate for ferret use. This is, I wouldn't even put like guinea pigs in it. This is usually what this cage is marketed for, like guinea pigs, rabbits, which do need a lot more space than this as well. So a couple things. In Europe, it is more common to use like straw bedding with ferrets over there, but I don't think that you really need to. I think that it's messy. I think that the straw will get everywhere. And if they poop and pee in it, it's probably like really hard to clean. Hats has two ferrets and will be in the DIY cage. They do eight to 10 hours throughout the week, um, like each day. Mm -hmm and 12 to 14 on weekends, which is much better on the weekends. Mm -hmm. But so if you can try to give them more free roam in like a ferret safe room, I would do that in the meantime. This isn't, uh, this isn't very cozy. Yeah, it's just, it's not great. Um, I would take out the straw and replace it with like plush blankets, get some hammocks in there, cat cubes, cause there's really no place for them to sleep. I mean, they'll sleep on the straw, but it isn't exactly comfy. And while it is something that a lot of people do in Europe for their working ferrets, doesn't mean that we have to do it for our domestic ferrets. Take out the straw in the litter pan and instead use like actual litter because I feel like it might confuse them to be pottying on straw and also yeah, be sleeping, sleeping on it. straw. Yeah, it might be a little weird for them. Mm. I would take out the toys too, just in case. Yeah, Let's look at the... It can be a little dangerous. So this is a little bit of a better picture here. There's like a hammock tube definitely think that you should get them out of the setup as soon as possible. Get that new cage going. Yeah, so we did give your current setup a D minus. Sorry about that. 
but um it's we, not comfy yeah it's just not good enough but your new setup definitely looks like it's got a lot of potential for being really really great so Todd. next we have todd's setup and i did actually ask them uh how much free roam time because they didn't send that so we're just going to assume that they do like the normal amount of free roam so like six to eight hours actually todd did mention the goal was the simplest possible setup which you know i can appreciate um, as long as you're giving a lot of free roam time you know i think it's totally okay if you have a simple setup if your ferrets are out of the cage all day you know all day and all night we just need more info like if if they're free room 24 7 then this is fine yeah you know, it, they come in and out of here when they want to you know eat i would or still drink. put like yeah i would still make it more comfy yeah i would still put like hammocks in there if they're 24 7 free room this is like a b yeah and i would take out that silver tube because it just kind of gets in their way of navigating through the cage and put it outside um where they play and put like a nice blanket there if you want to get more liners because you do have some liners there um i would put yeah like cat cubes beds anything to make it more comfy but you can still do that and keep it simple at the same yeah, time there's a beauty in simplicity but it needs to be comfy <laughs> i like the stainless steel bowls that you have and i like the cage cover i think that we would give it a b um and depending on like your answer like if you're not doing a lot of free roam then that would be yeah, not there, great there like we have ash's setup so ash has two ferrets and a double ferret nation eight plus hours but all day when they're home and the beds were removed to wash that day so normally there would be beds in the cage so we've got a sheet which is great you could probably what the heck is in there kind of looks like some wicked poops in there i don't know what you're there. feeding i would probably get a little bit of a bigger litter pan keep it in that same spot looks like they they kind of make a mess of their food plastic it does look bowls. like plastic bowls so i would swap those yeah. um i do like the little like mat that you have here looks comfy yeah it definitely is quite cozy you, could put something up on you that probably platform. don't need to put a tube up here i think it just um yeah, takes it, up a lot of space yeah, what's the chance they actually use that too and they probably don't use it yeah b plus yeah b plus um definitely moving on we have cassie's setup so cassie has four ferrets does about six plus hours a day of free roam so it's a diy Ooh. setup that looks really quite nice so the first thing that i notice is take out that water bottle because even a couple uses is enough to start chipping away at their teeth and it doesn't promote adequate water intake it. and i would also remove really important remove the air freshener oh, <laughs> up here come on it's really cute but those kinds of scents are really harmful for the ferret's respiratory system they're very sensitive so i would take that out altogether but the cage itself let me just say is really unique really looks like a lot of effort was put into it i love it we can't really see too much of the inside of it but i'm assuming you know you've got some good stuff in there seen hammocks of course uh, more free roam time if you can a lot of effort a minus mm -hmm. okay a minus we can do that so we've got two ferrets in a preview hendrix black feisty ferret cage is this is like gucci that we looked at <laughs> and Crazy. they they do 48 hours of free roam time um there's i guess no water or food bowls in this setup so as far as do you think it could do we think it could fit one or two more ferrets and they already have two i would say one more max. yeah i would say one more max um if you wanted to get four get a double ferret or critter nation yeah, the double fur because so that would know. fit them perfectly. I would take out this like squirrel toy thing, keep it for free roam time. It kind of takes up a little bit of space. Put maybe a full pee pad. I feel like this is going to be like so much work trying to untape it, throw it yeah. out, tape another piece or down. Or just put like a litter box. Yeah, or you could just do a long, you know, litter box that fits this area. But there are pee pads that do have tape on them already like the kind that we have in the corners they have like little tape pieces so that might be more convenient but i really do like this hammock i think it's you know a perfect length that way that they Didn't can we get see into that one it. already was that in the pink one yeah i think we've seen this um hammock before mm. i would say cover those ramps just to give them that extra traction is that mario <laughs> it's like mario oh, we got mario in the 
I hope they um, I hope they stash Mario. That would be yeah. really funny. You could probably fit like a small bed up here or a cube. You could get one of those hammock cubes. That way they can't like knock it down like what we've seen in the other setups up here. Oh yeah, they do uh, four to eight hours of free roam. So definitely shoot Ooh, for yeah, more. more especially on the days that you're only doing four. It is not a lot of time whatsoever. B plus. Yes, B plus. Nice job. Keep it up. Mm -hmm.